Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Tyler. This is the Tarver Academy YouTube channel where we like to learn and have fun. If you like learning and having fun and or one or the other, you should subscribe. Red button. No worries. You don't have to. So today I want to talk to you about how to set up your Google Hangout so that students can't rejoin it afterwards. Now, there's something that your your Google administrator for your school has to do, and I will link below in the description. Uh, my my guy, my guy, Eric Kurtz, he's not my guy, but he's a guy I know and he's a great dude, very smart. He has a video on that, I will link it below. They have to do that first, okay? Hopefully your school's already done that, uh, but this just rolled out, so I'm gonna show you how to set up your meeting so that they students can't jump in there. Now, if you do a calendar invite, um, you know how it sets up like a Google Hangout automatically. Don't use that for your Google Hangout. Uh, don't just like create a generic one. The trick is, is when you start a meeting, so I'm in here, I'm at meet.google.com and then I'm going to go start a meeting. The trick is you want to come up with a nickname. So I'll do Tarver Academy 5. Let's say it was my fifth period class. Continue. Okay. So. Now, once this part comes up, hey, what's up? That means that you are going to be able to allow people to join this meeting. Uh, they can't join it until you get to this point, okay? So now let's say I want to, uh, I want to go ahead and let's see, join now. Okay, hey, what's up? So I'm gonna copy my joining info and I'm going to put myself on mute because I don't need to hear the feedback. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna send an email to my students, or I'm putting Google Classroom. I'm gonna send the email, I'm gonna ask them to join. And so once they get in there, they'll be able to click the link in there and they'll be able to sign in uh, with your code if they need to, or they can just sign in automatically. Okay, boom, we got it, I got the link. I'm a student over here on my iPad. They're gonna join the meeting and we did it. So you're like, oh, why are you looking over there? So now I've got my students in the class. So what you do is after the class ends, okay? Because you don't want the students to rejoin the class afterwards and like hang out and talk about whatever. So what you have to do is you have to make sure all your students get out of the class. So you go up here to the upper right, see where these little people are. Also, if you want to know how to do grid view, I've got that video. I'll link it below as well because this grid view is incredible, right? So let's say, your students, they start leaving, and then you got a couple that didn't leave. One, look, I have one student still in here. What you do is you click this drop down, and I need to remove that student. Say, see you later. Boom, that's gonna remove that student. Now I may exit the meeting, and it will close out the meetings, but you have to make sure that you get everyone out first, okay? And then you can close it out, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna X out of my meeting, and boom, you're done. You've been, you've pushed them out of the meeting. They can't get back in it. They would need that code and they would have to get back into your class. So there you go. There you go. Thanks for learning. Hope this helped and never stop learning. Bye. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Look at this lighting, oh wow.